What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today, I want to talk about Robert Sala and the NFL Combine. It was released that he will not be attending the NFL Combine. We're going to get into whether that's a smart move or if it's a big mistake. So I apologize in advance for the voice in not the best of shape yesterday. No videos from me. It was pretty under the weather. Still not 100%. Um, probably only the video for me today, unless we get some major breaking news. I think we're just going to take it easy a little bit for a second day in a row, and hopefully that gets better the next day. But wanted to come on quickly and get some thoughts out on Robert Sala skipping the NFL Combine, and again, whether it's a smart move or if he's making a mistake by doing this. So this year, there are 12 coaches who will not be attending the NFL Scouting Combine. Uh, that number seems to go up year over year. Uh, and Robert Sala's name was on that list as one of the 12 guys who is not attending the scouting combine. Now, this isn't necessarily anything new for Robert Sala. Sala did not attend in 2023 or in 2022. And in the past, his reasoning was that him and his staff would be doing an independent film study on the free agents and the NFL draft. And you know, free agency is obviously coming a lot sooner than the NFL draft. We are a couple of weeks out from free agency beginning. And, you know, naturally, that is a very important time, as is the NFL draft. And, you know, the, the logic is that they don't come away with the same thing as the, the GMs do. Right. This is NFL scouting combine is definitely more of a scouting department and NFL GM time. But usually you do get a majority of the NFL coaches there. And I think you can make a strong case that Robert Sala should be there. Although I'm not going to say I'm not going to come on here and yell and scream one because I can't and two because I just I, I, I'm not going to yell and scream and say that this is this awful mistake. He's making this is horrible. There's no way that it can work. It it, it can in, in 2022, the Jets best draft in a long, long time. This is the process that they had. They they had this process. Then in 2023, uh, maybe not so great draft. They also had the same process. So TBD, if it's the right or wrong way to do it. But from an optics perspective, I think you can make a stronger case that he probably should be there with his job on the line. Joe Douglas and Robert Sala both are on the hot seat. That is not a secret. And with both of them seemingly in a position where they need to win now, I probably would have liked to see Robert Sala there and especially talk to the media after the athletic article that came out. He hasn't spoken since then. Um, there's a chance that he could do it over Zoom. I believe last year or two years ago, he spoke to the media over Zoom, even though he did not attend. Joe Douglas will be speaking with the media. Don't expect anything big from that. Joe Douglas is just going to give the most basic answers imaginable at this press conference. He only speaks like three times a year and gives you absolutely nothing. Um, Robert Sala, unfortunately for him as the head coach, is someone who has to speak to the media multiple times a week during the regular season. And I just don't think that, you know, I, maybe, maybe we don't hear from him. After what happened um, with some of the stories that come out, that have come out, I'm thinking maybe we don't hear from him, even though I probably would like to again, because there's going to be a lot of changes to this offensive staff. And I mean, Joe Douglas has some questions to answer, too, about some of the changes to his staff in the front office with Chad Alexander out and, you know, Rex Hogan, a couple of guys who are very high up on the totem pole. So there are there were and are changes to both the coaching staff and the front office. So would have probably liked to hear from both. But I understand why. Robert Sala isn't there, even though I don't necessarily agree with the optics of it. Let me know what you guys think. Should Robert Sala be there for the NFL combine? Is he making a mistake or is this the right decision for him to stay back, study film that way with his staff and then come together at the end? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary. I'll catch you guys next time.